two weeks out from UConn winning their fifth national title. When you look back at what this team did, what this team accomplished, uh, and how kind of a roller coaster season they had, where put this in perspective for me. Talk about it and what you think about this team now that you're kind of looking back on. Well, I think back to June 2019 when at a press conference inside Madison Square Garden, University of Connecticut, their logo was on the ceiling of Madison Square Garden in the lobby area. The ceiling is a huge video board. And the UConn logo is there with an X. And the Big East logo is there. And you instantly say to yourself, all right, the Big East means business going after UConn. And so does UConn in basketball. Connecticut is reinvesting in that whole blue blood identity. Because frankly, it had gone away. The reason why we had this whole debate and and hot topic question for a month was because it was in such a dark place. UConn basketball was in a, a, a darker than normal place for a program that's supposed to be at the stature that they're back at now. And what this program has done since coming back into the Big East, uh, when you look at the wins that they collected in the league over the last three years, when you look at the level that they were hitting, there was one question. There was one question. Will Dan Hurley break through in March? Can he win the big games? Once he won one, it was as if the floodgates opened because he won six. And what this team showed is that if you invest and buy into, not buy players, buy into your top core developing, and you believe in that, and you say, we're going to build around that, and we're going to identify transfers who fit in the right spots, there's not an exact science to it. There's a method to the madness, and not every case is the same, but that it can work. And the fact is, UConn said, we're going to buy into the fact that Adama Sanogo is only going to get better. It's going to level up. We're going to buy into the fact that Jordan Hawkins is going to become a great player. We're going to buy into the fact that Andre Jackson will work through his mental hurdles of the shot and his offensive game. We will move him around. We will make adjustments because he is the epitome of a leader. And we will build around that with impact transfers, a couple of freshmen who exceeded expectations. That's what this program did this year. And their level of dominance don't talk to me about who they played, who was on the other side. March Madness is the wildest postseason in sports. You the play only person not- talking about that is Jeff Goodman, and you you can just <laughs> ignore that. That's He's the only guy talking about that. It's, <laughs> he's it not, he, right. But the point is, what a run. Uh, and they have reestablished themselves. And here's the thing, Terrence. There is zero sign of this freight train out of stores, Connecticut, slowing down. No, not at all. And especially with some of the guys that come up, got coming back, there there were times during that run where Donovan Klingon was the best player on UConn. And there were times where he would play seven minutes because Adama Sunoco was so freaking dominant. Now, they, they do they do lose some pieces. Obviously, Sunoco is very focused on the pro route. Uh, who knows what Jackson's going to do? I've been out of the country for a couple – for a week, so I'm not – I don't have any updates there. We don't know. Uh, Hawkins is gone. There are going to be pieces missing. However – that recruiting class coming in, uh, a lot of different, uh, you know, ways of going about the transfer portal, which nobody's quite figured out. But you just kind of get guess and check. You remember guess and check, like when you were in third grade, you'd always hit the guess and check button whenever the teacher said it. But then that that's kind of how it is with this portal. There's no exact science. Sometimes you're going to hit the lottery. Other times you're going to waste two hundred dollars on a slot machine hoping to hear the word buffalo. You never know. But th- that's another thing too. Uh, 